Justin Bieber recently shared on Instagram that he's dealing with a major facial paralysis. As you can probably see from my face, I have uh, this syndrome called uh, Ramsey Hunt syndrome. And it is from this virus that um, attacks the nerve in my ear, in my facial nerves. Just like Justin said, Ramsey Hunt syndrome is a rare neurological condition where a virus affects the facial nerve, and this can result in facial paralysis. It's very rare, it happens in only five out of 100,000 people. Now it's actually caused by the chickenpox virus, otherwise known as varicella zoster, and this is a virus that so many of us have. Once you recover from chickenpox, the virus essentially lays dormant in your body, living in your nervous system. Now the virus can reactivate years to even decades later, and when it does, it can create a condition called shingles. And this is a very painful rash that occurs in what we call a dermatome, or a part of the skin that is supplied by the nerves in which the virus is reactivated in. As you can see, this eye is not blinking. I can't smile on this side of my face. This nostril will not move. So there's full paralysis in this side of my face. Shingles can present in all different parts of the body, and as you can see here with Justin, it most likely presented in the face and neck region. And if it affects the face, then it can also affect and damage the facial nerve. Now the facial nerve is the nerve that supplies all of the muscles of facial expression, and you have a main branch on each side of the face, basically covering half of the face. Now, if the main trunk of the facial nerve is not working, then you can get paralysis of entire half of the face. And you can see here with Justin, it's on his right side, but the left side of your screen. Ramsey Hunt syndrome can also present with severe pain, and in Justin's case, probably scarier, is you can get hearing loss on that side of the face. Now, obviously, this can be devastating for a musician like Justin. I gotta, I gotta go get my my rest on so that I can get my face back to where it's supposed to be. So aside from rest, what can Justin do to make his condition better? Well, there are two main medications that are used with Ramsey Hunt syndrome. And the first type of medication is a steroid. Steroids like prednisone, if given early, can help reduce inflammation, and this may help his symptoms to resolve more quickly. The other group of medications used to treat Ramsey Hunt are antivirals like acyclovir, and these are used to help speed the recovery of the illness. Now, as you can see in the video, his right eye will not close, and this can cause major problems if it's not treated. If you can't blink your eye, your eye can dry out, and this can cause corneal ulcers. So some things that you can do to help support the eye would be to wear an eye patch, which can help to keep that eye closed, or apply moisturizing drops or moisturizing gel lubricant. The key is to prevent his eye from drying out. It's gonna be okay, and I have hope, and um, I trust God, and um, I trust that this is all gonna, it's all for a reason. So what is Justin's prognosis? Well, unlike Bell's palsy, which is a completely different entity, there is a chance, unfortunately, that he may not make a full recovery. Now this is very scary for people who have Ramsey Hunt, especially somebody like Justin, who relies on his hearing and obviously his facial muscles for his career. But the good news is, is that if the damage is not severe, many patients recover in as little as a few weeks. And the key to recovery in this situation is how quickly he was diagnosed with Ramsey Hunt and the treatment was begun. If the steroids and the antivirals were started within the first three days of his diagnosis and of his symptoms, then his chances of full resolution and complete recovery is about 70%. Those chances drop if treatment is instituted after three days, where it drops to about 50%, and if they waited a whole week to treat him, recovery is only present in about 30%, according to studies. So let's hope that Justin and his doctors found this condition very, very early and got the treatment started immediately. In the meantime, I'm gonna rest and I I love you guys. Peace. So how can you prevent what's happening to Justin from happening to you? Well, the first thing is to get vaccinated. 
When I was a kid, we did not have a chicken pox vaccine. So I got chicken pox just like my brother, my sister, and all my friends. But there is a vaccine available for chicken pox now. So it's not inevitable like it was when I grew up that you're gonna get chicken pox. So if you've never had chicken pox before or you have small children who haven't been vaccinated for chicken pox, talk with your physician to see whether the chicken pox or varicella zoster vaccine is the right thing for you. And if you're over 50 and you've had chicken pox before, you may want to consider the shingles vaccine. I wish Justin all the best for a quick recovery. He has such an immense talent and the world has so benefited from his music. Now I know his mom is a fan of this channel, so Patty, if you're watching this, all my love and prayers and those of my viewers for your son Justin for a quick and full recovery. Now as you can see, even huge celebrities like Justin Bieber deal with medical conditions like the rest of us. Check out this video right up here where I discuss Jada Pinkett Smith's alopecia. Or did she have a brow lift like some doctors are claiming? And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.